Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and welcome to a video for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we're going to take a look at another manipulation function in jQuery and that is clone. Now we're going to be using the same application that we developed for append and append2 um, or append2 rather because we uh, essentially took a value here and we placed it here using the append2 function and that just moved this element inside of here. So let me just go through this for those of you that uh, were either unclear or haven't seen the append2 video. We're taking uh, an input button and we, well, when we click it, uh, let me just move this down. When we click it, we're taking this span here and we're placing it and appending it to the end of this paragraph. Now we do this using the following code and just append to paragraph. So the span with my name is, or sorry, the span with Alex in it is appended to the end of the paragraph which says my name is. Now the problem is here is that we instead of actually just taking a copy of this we're just moving the element and appending it on. Now to fix this we can use the clone functionality. So if you have uh, you know attempted to um, append one element onto another and you just want a copy of it to be created we can actually make a simple change to the code that we're currently using and actually then clone the element and then append it on. So in fact what we do is we simply just um, uh, after our span we would we would just say clone and then dot append to. So we've got the span here we're cloning the span and then we're appending it to the paragraph. So instead of this happening where we take the element up here and just completely move it to the end of this element, we'll actually receive a copy of the element and then it will just take it and append it onto the end as a copy. So you can see now that using the clone function will clone an element and then append it to rather than just appending to and moving the element altogether. 